Hi, Juana Foster here again. This is my latest um, papier mache and recycled materials sculpture. It's a kudu, one of Africa's most magnificent antelopes. Um, first, I set off by cutting a template out for the animal and then the individual legs, and then I uh, bent some galvanized wire and hot melt glued these to the legs then glued the legs to the body on suitable wooden or cardboard spacers then built up the bulk of the body with uh, bits of cardboard old polystyrene pizza trays anything you can lay your hand on really just to put the bulk up after that I laid approximately three layers of papier-mâché and then started building that up with a papier-mâché pulp just to get the rough outlines the horns were done in wire wrapped with garden um, plant ties and then built up with uh, papier mache pulp just to get a rough idea of the size. Um, I then separated these from the head because uh, I wanted to finish them quite finely and uh, make sure I could adjust them on the head to get the right position. So the animal just builds up layer by layer. You can do a little bit e every evening couple of hours just putting a thin layer of paper mashy pulp on and uh, giving it some texture. Um, it takes quite a bit of working to get the design right. I, I tend to try and work from memory but occasionally you, you just have to look at photos and I noticed that when I painted it from memory and then I looked at some photos I was miles out and you'll see that in the latter photos. The painting was painted over and painted over again to get a, a better effect the, the, the neck should have been a lot more grey um, these animals do change colour depending on the region that they're in but uh, the gen generally they're greyer in the neck than the rest of the body but all in all um, once I got to the final bit I was quite pleased I just need to make a base for him now I'll probably put this video up a little bit early but gives you a good idea what you can do with recycled materials. So have a go.